Hey what's up guys how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to the channel where recently I'd done a review of a TV and the Wi-Fi in a standard premier in room here in the UK but today I'm in a five star hotel and I'm going to be checking out what the TV is like and the Wi-Fi so does a five star hotel give you a five star TV? Now before we check out the TV and the Wi-Fi speeds let's take a look around the room. You might be surprised at some of the things so what we're going to do is just start off at the entrance way so as you walk in just to the side here we've got a little cupboard there iron and ironing board lights up looks quite nice got a hairdryer down there and a safe now this is what i'd say is more of a older fancy place rather than modern but the bathroom is quite nice so stepping in there all the marble affair on the floor bath sink nice corner shower there toilet and yes even a telephone so uh if you have a toilet emergency you can give them a call we've got the operator there housekeeping uh, and message waiting voicemail i'm not sure what you'd use all those for but yeah if uh, you are in trouble you can ring someone stepping out of the bathroom and we've got this uh full length mirror just there moving into the main bedroom area now then and this is a family room so we get two double beds this mahoosive headboard which actually isn't that practical because at the top it is padded down the bottom it's just solid wood so yeah not the most comfortable a uh, couple of lamps either side one doesn't work properly the other one does so a little bit disappointed there beds yeah fairly comfortable probably not the best i've ever slept in dare i say it, the premier in beds are probably actually more comfortable than these but they're not really bad either so just moving along the side and uh got this little seating area just here a wonky lamp but now this is uh i think pretty bad i mean it's not going to ruin your stay or nothing like that but look how wonky this plug socket is just down here yeah i don't know what they were doing when they were fitting that but that is seriously on the wonk i, I don't think it comes across on camera how bad that is but yeah not the sort of finish that you'd expect in a five star establishment moving around to the side and we do have this lovely view out of uh, this balcony window or should i say the sliding door is a bit awkward so you've got to lift up the handle pull it out got this handle here it feels like it's a bit of an afterthought really slide it back there you go and to be fair you can't knock the views that's uh, really really nice got like a high wire down there yeah spectacular views coming back into the room and we have this little workstation there so we've got desk chair lamp double socket but no usb so uh nowhere to maybe plug in your phone to charge you know obviously you could use the sockets but yeah a lot of places these days will have usbs but yeah nothing at all very weird a telephone there again if you want to call down to reception got a kettle that was up on the top just there we just move that over to the side so we've got our selection there of uh teas and coffees coffees in a bag had a bit of a nightmare with one of those but yeah we won't see more about that then we've got a door here i think this is just an adjoining one so or, or maybe was so yeah maybe it goes into another bedroom and then we have the tv itself so yeah looks quite nice on this stand illuminated at the top just there it does tilt i'll just show you guys so it does pull out so if you want it a little bit closer not the thinnest that i've ever seen but not the thickest either i think it's quite an old model so what tv is it so grabbing the remote as we can see it is a samsung now the funny thing is if you look on the remote it actually has a 3d button so, but it says it's not available so yeah it's a tv that i'm guessing was capable of 3d but i'm guessing it's been disconnected uh the 3d feature due to it being in a hotel room obviously they're not going to give you glasses you're not going to have any 3d content anyway further confirmed by saying samsung at the bottom just there but i'm gonna be totally honest with you a little bit disappointed with this tv it's massively oversaturated colors are well off i've had to play around with the settings even in the standard mode which normally they are dulled down yeah they are really oversaturated as you can probably tell viewing angles let's move around to the side and it does wash out a bit as we can see just there again not terrible but since it's so oversaturated yeah it does wash out a little bit and uh yeah 
could be better. Now what is really disappointing with this TV is if we grab the remote and go to content, looking for apps, well, there is none apart from this web browser and I doubt that probably works either. So yeah, none of your uh, what, YouTube or anything like that. So yeah, pretty disappointing if you think you're gonna come along and enjoy anything other than the regular TV channels. So when it comes to channels, let's get up the guide and uh, it is a little bit sluggish this TV as well. So yeah, we do uh, get all the sort of favorites that you'd expect in the UK. So we've got, you know, all your ones from one to five, which I am struggling to get through. As like I said, is a little bit slow. So uh, yeah, all right on the channels, but overall for a five star hotel, no, this is not a five star TV. Moving on to the Wi-Fi speed test then. So yes, you do get free Wi-Fi here at the five star accommodation. And I'm gonna run the speed test to see if it is five star speeds. So there we go, the results are in. So we're looking at 9.21 on the download and 7.84 on the upload. Not the best, but it's gonna be good enough to get you by whilst you are staying here. So there you have it then guys. Now do us a favor, let me know in the comments section, do you think this is really a five star hotel when you compare it to other places that I stayed, tested out the TV and the Wi-Fi. Don't get me wrong, I think this is a nice place, but I think five stars is probably pushing it. I'd say it's more a high end three to a four. So thanks very much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.